Today, I have a great game for you. Actually, a brilliant game for you because the move actually marked as brilliant in a chess.com engine. So, this is very interesting. Uh, as usual, I have uh, puzzles, three puzzles over here. And if you just here for just for the puzzle, then go ahead and go to the timeline and see puzzle number one, puzzle number two, and puzzle number three. With that in mind, Let's begin. The opening is Rui Lopez opening right here. That's Rui Lopez opening. Exchange variation right here. So that's a rather premature attack. Waste the tempo. White should not have done that. Again, this is a premature attack. What should have castled or something? Or maybe developing the queen. So that's premature attack. Easy enough for me to do, right? Just take this out, take that out. Now the hope is hopefully, you know, if I take this out over here, that uh, white would not capture, be captured with the queen over here. So the King will not be castling on this side over here, but rather castling on this side over here. Anyway, next move. And that's blocks uh, what attack basically just plants it out over here. Now, uh, look at the structure over here. Pawn structure. That's actually very strong. Uh, very nice pawn structure. Look at my pawn structure over here. That's double pawn. So this is a weakness. White has advantage over here. But slight advantage. As long as I can keep the action until the king side of the board, then it should be alright. Next move. Suddenly the weakness becomes the strength. It's half open and I'm taking control of the file. <coughs> and that's a weakness right there. So keep pushing the center. And keep pushing to the center. Again, double pawn. I got double pawn here, double pawn here. So pawn structure is not too good. And I'm hoping for the activity to make up for it. This is puzzle number one. White has just moved the knight to e4. What should I do? As you can see, the knights and the queen are positioned right next to each other with a simple blank square in the middle and I have a pawn over here so hey look at that I can just uh, fork the pieces over here so that's the answer to the puzzle next move and I totally missed it <laughs> I totally missed it the evaluation was at 6 minus 6 there and the next move goes back to 0 so what can I say? <laughs> sometimes I sometimes I do things uh, like as soon as I make the move, oh, oh no, oh no, like it's uh, like Tom Scott says, oh no, second, like immediately after the move, one second later, oh no. So anyway, next move, castle. That's not a good castle because uh, sh should have castled the other way over here. But because you can't castle the other way, because if the because if white castled the other way, right here, hmm. what about that? Oh, uh, that's not castle anymore. Anyway, oh, that's not. White cannot castle that way because there is a bishop, you know, checking out that square. So yeah, but White cannot castle that way. 
but even if that is uh, no piece of over here, if what, if what castle this way over here, uh, the queen will go that way, and that's going to be a problem. So uh, if white wants to castle, white would have castle this way. But this is not a good thing because white because black is attacking. Uh, this side over here, and that's nothing that this is a weakness. weakness. So, what can with care uh, take care of the problem over here? And yet, I am threatening the rook over there. So, um, uh, good answer would be to just move the, the rook over there and counter attack that way. Next move. And oh, I finally did it over there. As soon as uh, white makes uh, move, that does not take care of the problem. That excuse me, that problem right here. Okay, so oh no, second becomes oh yeah, second. Boom, immediately. This is very interesting because. I could have recaptured with the bishop over here, and in fact the computer says to recapture with the bishop, but I choose to recapture with the rook because I want to put the rook over here and put up a battery to that point over there. I have the queen over here and soon bishop over here, so totally attack that point over there. Next move. Capture, capture, like take, take. Uh, well, I was thinking like maybe the queen can move over here somewhere in, that, in this diagonal. But then I would lose the pawn, so really no choice in that regard. So that's check. King move there. Suddenly, oh yeah, X-ray in the queen there. Connecting the rook, as I said, I want to attack this pawn over here. And then, next move. <coughs> <coughs> so this is the position over here. What has just uh, protected this pawn by moving the pawn and being protected by that pawn. So if rook takes the pawn over here, uh, can be taken by the pawn over here, so it's protected. This is puzzle number three. What is Black's best move? Alright, so as I said, if uh, Black wants to take the pawn with the rook, uh, rook can simply just take back and I'm done one rook. If uh, black wants to take the pawn with the pawn over here, then the white just take the queen with, this, with the rook. So I'm down one rook basically. So anyway I take the pawn, I will put down one rook. So this is what I did. Take the pawn with the rook. And this is the brilliant move over here. That's basically, uh, computer says it's brilliant. Uh, and look at that, minus nine over there. So yeah, even though I'm done one rock over there, get captured over here. Uh, it got taken up over here and I'm ahead. And the reason why I'm ahead is because it's made in seven. So there goes the problem. So anyway, Check. check, take the pawns out, now they check, this is back and forth, right, so there is, uh, there is a point to that one, because I want to take that pawn out, right off that square, this is puzzle number three over here, uh, white has just moved the king to h1, what should I do?
This is what I did. The reason I'm moving the rock over here is because I want to take control of this square right here and then the smith over here. So why could I have run interference over there and do that? So I want to stop that from happening. That's that's why the rook moved there. So it just blocks the rook from going into that square over there. Next move. Check. And that's a delaying tactic because there's a bishop over here. And the queen moved there. That's again a delaying tactic. I mean, I could have take the queen over there and queen, uh, rook takes queen, rook takes rook, and I'm up ahead, uh, basically playing uh, queen rook end game. So check here, to, uh, king move here, and then take all the pawns, clean up all the pawns and everything. And I'm still ahead with uh, bishop, which of course it will go there and fuck that one so but anyway i would be up queen ahead but like i said the goal is to get that square and so mint beautiful game a brilliant game brilliant move that uh, rook takes pawn so anyway that's it for today thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow